Welcome to it. This is The Bench right here on the A1 Sport. My name is Lonobo Mbarzanyana and every single week we'll be hanging out and benching somewhere very, very cool. A big thank you to the Granddaddy Hotel for hosting us this week. Uh, and uh, to my far left, we have uh, Mr. Baron Hufke, KFM Sports Anchor on The Drive Show. <laughs> and in the middle, we have Guinness World Record holder, the freestyle footballer himself, the uncle, Chris Ndewai. Every single week we'll be out here debating some of the biggest sporting news and catching you up on what, uh, you know, what you've missed and also giving our opinions on what's going down and uh, what you can expect. But you need to do your part as well. Get in the comments section, let us know your thoughts. Uh, maybe you agree with us, maybe you don't agree with us. It's possible that you won't agree with us. And also be sure to hit that subscribe button. We want to hear from you and want you to be part of this family. Let's get this thing on and started. We have lots to get through today and uh, we start things off, man, with some World Cup news. News. The World Cup is up and running right now. The first week is up. And uh, fellas, what have been your thoughts thus far? Are we impressed? Are we disappointed? Well, Baron. I mean, I, I'm, I'm Brazil all the way and I'm not disappointed as yet. Mm -hmm. So I am a little frustrated with the team, but not disappointed. But with the whole World Cup in general, I feel a few surprises. Yes, Germany mm -hmm. especially, um, losing to Mexico. But um, so far, it's been a good World Cup. I still, I'm still waiting for that big upset, man. Mm. You know, the big, big, big. That one. wasn't big enough. Germany no, wasn't I mean Germany. I knew you. going in there, they weren't really going to be the ones to shine. Oh. I know you're a Germany supporter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the but you know, it, it always happens with the defending champs. I mean, they always choke when it comes to the next World Cup. So, all right, Chris and you, what are for your me, thoughts so far? I'm not so disappointed. I mean, there's still two more games to go. Um, still lots to play for. Um, I know. The big guns have lost all through their first game. Uh, yeah, still lots to play for. So uh, I don't know what the Hula Balu people are worried now. Nah, yeah, still, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's, still, there's still lots to play for. There's still, there's still lots to play, play for. for. All right, then let's uh, let's turn our attention into your picks, Baron. Who are you running with for the World Cup? Oh yeah, as I said, Brazil 100%. Hola Brasil. Hola Brasil. I hear Neymar is also like out of the World Cup. Yeah, he limped off for training yesterday. Yeah, was, I saw yeah, pictures of that yeah. on the on the gram. But uh, I'm still sticking it with um, with Germany, Switzerland. Oh, um, the world champions. just had to mention Neymar limping off. <laughs> yeah, okay. um, but also, I think a lot of people are writing off the host, um, mm. Russia. They've been, uh, yes. I mean, you've got the 12 fans, the Russian fans, and um, mm. them being the host, um, it, it plays a big, big role. Um, oh. Unlike 2010. <laughs> um, <laughs> I put money on Croatia, like, you know, a little pool. But my pick. Croatia. Croatia. Why? Luka Modric, one ah, name. Wow. But my pick to win it all, I'd, I'd, go with, I'd go with Belgium. I think Belgium could pull it off. And they've got the power, Lukaku, they've yeah, got the coaching. Fine. Uh, Roberto Martinez is a dope coach. It's a star-studded squad. And it's a star-studded squad. And everybody kind of knows their position. You've got, you know, the older guys who have the experience. We lost with Belgium in the knockout phase of the World Cup. Which year? This previous one. Oh yeah, they actually yeah. were. They were. Yeah, they were. Well, they got to like 16, yeah, quarter final, yeah, and then they got yeah. dumped out. Last 16, last four, that's a huge gap. There's a huge difference. <laughs> Semi finals, so. only thing that counts. Says the guy <laughs> whose team lost 1 0. <laughs> Who are those players that you feel like, okay, I need to keep an eye on him? So I really enjoyed watching Senegal. Um, they did it for Africa. First Yo, points on, on the scoreboard for Africa. And we were all waiting for Egypt mm. to, to get us on the scoreboard. And we forgot about a whole Senegalese team that plays before Egypt on the same day. So right. definitely well done to those guys. So team uh, players that I'll be looking out for is definitely in that team. I've got so much hope for them mm -hmm. for this World Cup. Secretly, even though I'm supporting Brazil. Um, but Niang and Sane really did it for me in that mm. game. They did. So hopefully they will keep that momentum going throughout the rest of the World Cup. And Chris, you? Germany side, two players for me, uh, Drexler. Um, okay. Drexler and uh, Muller. Muller. Um, ah. With him not scoring this World Cup, it, it really bothers me, but um, there's two, two more games and uh, I think he's gonna come and collect. So okay. Muller. I love watching Shakiri play. I'm not gonna lie, like his yeah. movements, his touches on the ball, Shakiri's one to watch for me. Uh, and then, and then it's Cristiano, guys. You can't take your eyes off the dude, like. No, of course. He gets on, he bangs, he does his job, he carries an entire team on his back. They yeah. struggled a bit. Um, mm. I think it was against Morocco, where they scored one goal, yeah. mm. and um, just one shot to go in like for 90 minutes and Morocco's on top of them. Mm. So it's going to be very, very tough um, World Cup for them. Um, there's only a couple of players there. I mean, Pepe at the back is not, yeah. um, he's not as solid. Um, yeah, he's an old man. Yeah, um, yeah and um, 
Cristiano, you know, he needs to feed off the other guys to. Mm. I, I love Cristiano, but he has to feed up feed off the other guys to, mm. to, to, to actually score. Yo, what's going on with our African sides? Are we are we not on the same level internationally as these other countries? Because like what, five games have been played by African teams now and we've only recorded one win in those five. Shout out to the Lions of Taranga who held it down for us as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let us know in the comment sections below as well uh, any questions that you might have, any points that you want to point out to us. Maybe one of us got something wrong and you want to correct us. We're here for that too. But just, just be nice. Be nice. But Baron, do you think that our <laughs> boys, like, do you think that our African um, boys are up to snuff? So, I'm going to be a little bit shady here, okay? Mm. So excuse me. But... Egypt... <laughs> Tunisia, I mean, they're way up north. I mean, can we really say they are truly <laughs> African <Wow>. teams? <laughs> I mean, yes, geologically, wow. <laughs> they're That's African right. teams, but I mean, they, I feel like their style of play is a little bit more European. European. Mm. Middle Eastern. <laughs> but if you look at um, the African brothers playing for the European sides as well, I mean, they haven't been living in for instance, one of those countries for that long. I mm. mean, they, they might have moved there a few years ago, but the talent is definitely there. Mm. But, but it's funny though, because these same teams, the Moroccos, the Senegals, the, the, the Tunisias, you come to an AFCON and they dominate. They run yeah. the table, they run the entire yeah. board, and then you throw in a couple of nations from other continents and the, the story changes. Mm. Chris, what have you seen though? Are we are we on that level yet? Are we, what, what's missing I, from this? I don't thing? really think we need to press the uh, panic buttons just yet. Mm. I think the, the guys are very, very um, unlucky. But um, I'm waiting to see on um, um, Senegal. Uh, I know you've been giving them praises. Mm. And, um, and Nigeria, Nigeria is a tough group, but they, mm. they it's lucky. They're very unlucky to always have Argentina and Bruni in their group. Um, mm. But um, they might just bring a, a surprise. Shout out to the young goalkeeper of Nigeria too, 19 year old. Yeah, wow. Well, yeah. yeah, shout out to him. Why? Because um, he's young. All right, we start off in uh, England with uh, Jack Wilshere making it clear that he will not be renewing his contract with Arsenal in the coming season. Uh, Baron, what's the word to describe Jack saying, I'm good? It's time. Time. Mm. Right. What's For the me, word the word is sad. Um, it's sad. It's sad in a way because uh, he's a very, very talented youngster. Um, uh, he hasn't played a, a lot um, for Arsenal because of injuries and being loaned out and coming back and didn't really feel that he was given um, any second spell coming back to Arsenal wasn't given a chance to actually you know play, play. The other bit of Arsenal news is that they signed a brand spanking new keeper, Burnt Leno. Now, what is the word to describe that? We'll start with Chris. Fresh. Um, fresh. fresh. Uh, yeah, right. I think it's going to be a fresh start for Arsenal. Um, you know, losing Wenger after so many years of service, uh, they just need new, um, fresh blood and players just to rejuvenate the team. Interesting. Interesting. Mm. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I feel some type of way for Peter Cech. Like, <laughs> I really do. You're going to bring this light in now. You're going to make me sit bench. So for me, it's melancholy. That's kind of signaling the end of an era for mm. Peter Cech. Like, he needs to take off the scrum cap. He'll never do. <laughs> Did you see what happened when he. Yo, bruh. <laughs> like, hey, hey. It's <laughs> soft in there. It's very, very soft. <laughs> I don't think uh, he'll ever take it off ever again. Steve Compella leaves Kaiser Chiefs and picks up a gig quick fast at Bloemfontein uh, Celtic. What is the word to describe Coach Steve Compella's move to Bloemfontein Celtic? Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> My word being, it's confusing. Um, confusing? Confusing Why? in a way that um, a couple of weeks ago, um, Celtic, uh, there was like a uh, to sale mm. sign on it. And for Steve, um, yesterday to announce that um, it's going to go to Celtic after the coach has left. Uh, it's a very confusing situation, not knowing if the team is going to move to, to Kimberley or... Mm, that whole thing. Oh. Well. So it's, yeah, it's very, very confusing. My confusing. word to describe it would be fortuitous. I mm. feel like, you know, it's fortunate. Fortuitous. Hey, Baby, hey, hey. we're about to do hey, 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 Do hey, not hey, say hey. you didn't learn anything <laughs> on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're moving on and we're switching things up a, a little bit right here on the bench. This weekend, it all goes down. Baron's got tickets. 
I do. Psh. It's good tickets as well. Where? Box <laughs> tickets, of course. Oh yeah. my goodness. There's levels to this game. Uh -huh. There's <laughs> levels, honestly. Suit the number. box. <laughs> <laughs> the box will be taking on England in the third and final test. They have a 2-0 unassailable lead in the series. But we find out this weekend if they can make it three. Uh, Baron, you're going to be there live yeah. in box seats. Yeah. Um, What's your score predictions? What are you expecting from them? Score predictions. Okay, so listen, Rusty is going to make about four to five changes. Mm -hmm. um, Elton Yanchis is going to start as well. Oh, yeah. um, but we, we, we've been seeing some good work by Andre Pollard. I'm going to hope for 32... 12. You want to know? That's a big margin, B. It is a, it is a big margin. <laughs> That's a very but big margin. But because I just have a great feeling that they're going to go out there and give it their all. Right, Chris? I was actually watching Sky, um, Sky Sports yesterday, and um, the people in England are very, very angry. <laughs> There's a huge English contingent here in Cape Town. Thanks. Army army. Army, army. <laughs> army army so so are so, you part of this <laughs> no 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 <laughs> by the looks but, of but, things but but um you know sia and co they, they they're gonna go out there and obviously try to wrap up um and and, and win three no mm. um and fuck has been playing very 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 yeah. well yeah score prediction is probably gonna be 2017 2017 very close, close game. game. That's very yeah. close. That's very close. Very, very close. It's a penalty kick. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I tend to agree with Chris on this one. I, I have faith, guys. I have faith, but this is Eddie Jones we're dealing with here, fellas. Like Eddie has had his run. It what? Disrespect. I'll give it a 23-16 to the box. But I think Eddie, Eddie's gonna come back like with a vengeance in this one. Hopefully England does not score first. If they score first, I don't think they will lose their lead. Then we need those live tweets uh, at the A1 Sport, so uh, you will keep us focused and keep us updated. Well, maybe my sushi is going to keep me busy, so oh. I'll see how it works out. All right, fellas, we've got big games happening this afternoon. We've got Argentina taking on Croatia and France and Peru. Let's start with France and Peru. Uh, some score predictions for that one. Who do you see taking that one? Uh, France 2-0. No. And you? Uh, France are going to edge it 1-0. Well, no. um, I think there's just too much firepower for Peru. Again, let us know in the comments section who you think is going to be taking what and what the score margins will be there. Argentina, Croatia. Big game. <laughs> big one. Big, 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 big implications. Game. Looney, why is it a big game? Because yeah, I got money on this. Big to us. So that's oh, why. Money on this. <laughs> score predictions. Da Chris, who do you have taking this one? It's going to end 1-0. Y'all trust Leo so much. Yeah, it's going to end 1-0. I would say I would say two. It's, uh, <laughs> I would say I would say one 0 for Argentina. One 0 for Argentina. Mm. Leo on the score sheet. Yeah. The other big fixtures that we can expect for to tomorrow will be Brazil versus Costa Rica, and as well as Nigeria versus Iceland. So I'm gonna say Iceland one 0 So you're gonna be in your room like oh 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 I see you, I yeah. see you. Chris? Nigeria, I've taken that one. Two goals to no. Two goals to no. What? Two goals to no. That makes a very, that may, that will make a very happy person right here in, a, in, a, in the shooting crew. Shout outs to her as well. Yeah. Let's get those predictions in as well in the comments section. Iceland, Nigeria, what's your score predictions? And also, what are your score predictions for the big South American derby that we can expect? Brazil takes on Costa Rica. Brazil, 2-0. Uh, yeah. Hola, Brazil. Brazil, 4-1. 4-1. Here we go. Now we're on the same page. <laughs> Damn. Guys, ish. Brazil are going to take this game. Um, they really, they really um, wanted this World Cup, mm. um, uh, you know, after the, the Slazo from last week. Yeah, that was, dis that was bad. It was guys. sad. It was just <clears throat> disappointing to the yeah. max. But nah, man, I'm going to give, you know what? I'm going to give the underdog a chance. Costa Rica 1-0. Because I don't trust Brazil. You have money on this as well. No, I don't have money on this one. This is just a gut feeling. Can we have money on it now? Are oh, we gonna put money? Yes. Now. Like, what do you want? To, how a much? Thousand rand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can we make like a pair, a pair of sneakers or something? Wait, I also need some money here. Right, right. I need a, I need a. I'm gonna say fifty rand because I'm gonna do the whole thousand rand. Fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. Yeah. A pair of sneakers. 50 okay, bucks. we're on the same page. Yeah. We can add a pack of spookies as well. You want some spookies? Belele. 
We'll throw some spookies in there for you. All right, man, that is where we leave it today. Please get in the comment section and don't forget, please, please subscribe. Uh, we'll be back at it next week, same time, same place. I'm back on Monday evening again with the finish line, updating you on all the fixtures that you've seen and that you would have seen over the weekend. So be sure not to miss out on that. And don't forget to subscribe as well. A big thank you to Baron. He'll be back with me next week. And a big thank you to our special guest this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to yeah. say something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to say something. Right, excellent, uh, excellent. A big, big, big congrats to Temba Wabuma. Oh, for being, yes. Um, yeah, appointed as the High Fells Lions captain. Shout out to Tiba Wabuma over there holding it down and doing great work. For, uh, the high felt lions and as well as the proteas man uh, that might that might you know you might see him move on to the proteas position i mean it's vacant now we'll have to wait and see there's a lot going on there do you think we could get like a, a black captain in the proteas not anytime soon damn yeah we just kept it so 100 and we leave it at that we're back again next time be sure to join us and don't forget to hit that subscribe button we'll check you later peace